Hey everybody, it's Tammy and welcome back to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. So, um, I've been taking like a, a little break, just a little summer break, and I just kind of needed a little downtime. And um, so a lot of you have reached out and you have said, are you okay? Um, are you going to be doing any more videos? And so the answer is yes and yes. So I thought we could kick off with a little fall Halloween project. Isn't she just the cutest? And I hope this inspires you to follow along and craft with me today. And I, I just wanna say that when you guys reach out and you tell me that you miss me, that just really warms my heart. And thank you for your kind hearts. You, you guys are amazing and I love you. So let me grab everything that we need and let's do this adorable little witch project for Halloween. The images that we're going to be using for this project today uh, was a download that came from Etsy shop Forever Cute Us. There were 14 of these little witches and you just don't know which one to pick because they are all the cutest thing you've ever seen. So um, also I just wanted to add, I usually print my images out on just white cardstock, but I have found this paper here. It is a, a color copy cover paper and this paper, it's it's not really it's not regular paper and it's not cardstock, but it's somewhere in between. But it has a really like silky finish, and I feel like when I print on it that I get a very crisp, beautiful image. And if you guys follow me, you know that um, I always double up on my paper. So we're going to double this up with a little extra cardstock, so our image it can be really nice and strong and permanent. So um, you will find uh, the link for this Etsy shop um, in the description box below this video, as well as all of the crafting supplies that I will be using today. All right, so let's move this over out of the way here. And um, the first thing I like to do, as always, I know a lot of you have seen me do it dozens of times, but I will just rough cut out my image. Right. And let's see, yeah, a little piece of scrap paper here. I'm gonna flip it over and use my Scotch Create glue stick, which note to self, I have got to order some of these because I am getting down to the bottom. I can't even hardly get this thing open. Okay, and it's getting a little gummy. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and use it today. It's definitely not up to good standards. Okay. So we're just going to coat the back, an even coat along the back of our image. I've just got a piece of black cardstock here, and I'm just going to lay her on. Make sure your fingers are nice and clean with no gooey, gooey glue stick on there, because it'll definitely gum things up for you. See, I, I'm a little gummed up right there. Luckily, it's not on the image, so just FYI, <laughs> okay? All right, and what I normally suggest at this point is we grab a book and flatten it down, let that glue dry really good, let the image and the, the cardstock just get nice and flat and strong. Today we're, we're using the Puritan Witch because I thought that was just fitting for our project today. So we are going to set this aside and let it dry and we'll be back. All right, our image is dried. Let's set that aside. And what I usually do here is once again, just kind of rough cut her out. And we will grab our little cutter bee scissors. I like these. They're very precision for cutting, fussy cutting around all these tiny little places here. And I would continue to slowly and relaxingly cut her out and you can see right here between her arm and her dress there's just kind of a place there that's hard to get into for cutting I'll usually lay her on a mat grab an exacto knife and just cut that out right in there and that spot in there or you can leave it you know those one of those things that's like totally up to you here she is right here with that opening cut out right there okay so let's put her aside because I do have her little sister right here that I've already cut out and she's ready to go. She's all strengthened up. Look how nice her back looks with that black. Looks really good. 
slice them in a little. All right, so I think the first thing I would do here is, grab a little scrap, is go around the edges with a little bit of Distress Ink. Oh, I love this stuff. Makes everything look a little even, a little vintagey, a little more vintagey, right? Love it. Okay. And if you have any white paper showing through, because you know the back of her is white, this will always make your edges look really, really nice and finished. Okay. All right. So um, I've got a little block here. This is like a half inch. I think this is a half inch by half inch. Yeah, it's a half inch block. And I've also got a little craft stick. So we're going to secure her up with those. But before we do that, I found this at Joann's. And, um, you know, I always look for stuff that's just kind of weird. I mean, it's just kind of my thing. So this is a, um, I'm not a crocheter, but I'm assuming that you can use this to crochet scrubbies for your kitchen. So isn't this, look at the, look at the, look at that. Isn't that really cute? And you can see on this little girl, I just put a little piece of that on the bottom of her dress and I tied a little piece around her neck. I'm always just looking for kind of unusual types of things. And this this fit the bill for sure. It's way there a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna take and put a line of hot glue on her dress, the bottom of her dress here, and just lay this funny little trim on there. Just as a little accent. And I think she probably could use another layer of it too. So I'm going to do two layers of it. Okay, let's lay that on there like so. So you can see, you know, just funny little things that you find can just make things look a little extra special. So that's her little, that's her little witchy trim. And back over here to our block. So her feet are going to glue onto this block because we're making a stand for her, basically. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue here on her feet and connect her right there to that little block. All right. I think I have her bending over a little too much, you guys. I wasn't paying attention. Let's just go back. Redo, redo, okay. There, let me straighten her out. This isn't gonna show. So see, you can cover up all your boo-boos. Trust me, I have plenty of them. I'm gonna take the little craft stick and lay that here for support on the back. And of course, it's too long, so I'm just gonna eyeball that and just give it a little cut breaks off nice and easy and I'm still going to take a little bit just a just a little pinch of that okay that's better and run a bead of glue this is going to make her very strong like so okay so she is basically ready. Now what I'm gonna set her on is this little paper mache box, okay? Just my camera here a little bit. Um, I found these on Amazon. This is a two inch little box. Um, I know you guys have told me that you see them a lot of times at the Dollar Tree, the dollar stores. So, you know, I guess they're out there and available. I did link these for you. I thought they were a little more expensive than what normally, but like like right now, what isn't, right? Everything seems to be pretty expensive. I'm not gonna use the lid. I'm going to use the bottom for our base. Now, I just put this in my shop. These are my new little fall colors. We have a gold and a green and the orange. Aren't those pretty? So on this one here, I used the green. So let's use a different color. Let's just Let's just use the orange today for the little witch. Okay, so let's just unwrap a little bit here. And uh, of course you can use whatever you have for this. You can cover this with scrapbook paper. You can cover this um, with, with lace or yarn or um, uh, book page, you know, whatever, whatever you have, fabric, 
Okay, I'm just going to lay this right here just to kind of get us started. All right, I think we're started. And then just go around like so. Okay, this might take a few minutes. But the finished project is worth it. It's really pretty. This is a, a velvet trim, and I, I love velvet. I've always loved velvet. Ever since I was a kid, velvet. I love it. All right. And then I'm just going to do some wrapping and not necessarily gluing it the whole way. But every now and then, I'm going to stop and put a little bead of glue and just keep rolling. Okay, so we're just wrapping our paper mache here. Bead of glue and hold it all together. All right, as I'm starting to get here at the top, I think the, the need for the glue increases because you want that to, to hold on without flipping off the edge, kind of like we did at the bottom. And looks like we just about got this. Okay. Oops. Okay, let's finish this right here. There you go. Glue strings. A snippet. All right. So there's what we got so far. Okay. And, um, Let's do a little bottom. I'm just going to grab my two inch hole punch here, kind of whatever size you need to sort of go with whatever size paper mache you're using. And here's a piece of the black cardstock. So that. And this is an old book page. I'm hoping this stamps through. Oh. Good, it did. I wasn't sure if it was going to kind of just all crunch up in there because this page is so old. All right. Then I'm going to take and just add this little book page. Let's see, what should we use? I'm going to use some Fabrifix glue for this. All right. Let's get it to get rolling here. Okay. And then line it all up there okay and then our little box is just going to sit on this so on the open side i'm using i'm just gonna go around here and glue it up and try to center this the best that i can i think the last one i made i didn't really center it that great Oh, that one's not too bad. Okay. All right. So we have a little base, her little stand. And since we already decorated her with um, her little stand and everything, she's like ready to go. So look, we could even add more lace to her or look here. Look at these teeny tiny little buttons. We'll have to add some of those. So I'm just going to glue her on by just putting glue on the bottom of, of her stand, putting it right here. In the middle like that okay that's cute so far now this one here I used the um, the feather boa the black feather boa which I felt was very effective I think that looks gorgeous um, let's try something different this time um, I've got a little scrap here of like a silver tinsel so let me I'm gonna cut this kind of in pieces just so I can kind of add it and fluff it up a little as we go so I'm going to kind of just push that on like that. I think that one's going to look cute too. So kind of up to you, like whatever, whatever you like to use for a little base cover, pretty much. And I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put a little glue up there on the top of that block just so we can 
press some of that in there and that just kind of covers up the whole mess. Okay, looking cute. Um, this one here, I grabbed one of my rubber stamps and we'll did a little happy Halloween. Let me grab something here. Here we go. This is just like a piece of coffee dyed index card. I'm just gonna use that as my background because I have it on hand and pulled out a few of my Halloween rubber stamps. This one's cute, October 31. Let's use that. Okay. So. Cute. And I'm just gonna cut that out. Okay. And of course, got to do a little ink of course even though that paper's coffee dyed still makes it look better okay I love her she has a little black kitten so let's see where this would look cute I can maybe put it right there and then we're gonna grab one of those little those little buttons all right October 31 I got in this little jar of mine. There's a little black one right there. I don't even remember where I found these, you guys, but you know, it's one of those things that you see and you're like, well, I don't see that every day. So, you know, you just grab it. I think back in the day, the craft stores used to really have a lot more than that than they do now, unfortunately. I hope retail's making a big reset because I miss it. Right, the little button there. And you know, of course, we could always finish this little lady up with glitter, right? Oh, I want to thank my beautiful granddaughter, Aubrey. She actually has been making bracelets and she made one for me that says Grace. So I can remember to have Grace in all of my days. Okay, how about a little, a little glitter on the top of her hat, and I'm going to put the glitter on her collar here, but that would have been pretty to grab like a little bit of a, a little scrap of lace, right, and put that around her collar too, because you can really dress this up. It's like a little paper doll, really. Okay, so there we go. Let me clean this mess up. Well, I think that this is a lot of cuteness right here. <laughs> this is really sweet little witches, easy little project. And by the way, the lid to the paper mache box, um, I can think of all kinds of things to fill this up with. And uh, maybe that's something for another day, right? So I hope you enjoyed creating with me today as much as I enjoyed being with you. And um, I'm kind of back at work now for my videos. My little summer um, hiatus is definitely over. And um, so we're going to be enjoying doing some holiday things together because that's like that's like my favorite thing the Halloween the uh and the and the Christmas so that's what we're going to be up to around here so um I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up if you liked it that always helps my channel grow and I appreciate it so much so thank you guys for um hanging out with me today and I will see you for our next creative project bye for now